Hey guys, Brittany Lane here. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning into my Halloween looks. I am with you today to talk to you about my normal foundation routine, just my face routine in general, kind of like my under eyes, bronzing, highlighting. I'm also gonna go into a couple more parts and maybe do like an eyebrow tutorial for you guys and then kind of an eyeshadow lip fall look too. Um, these were inspired by Amanda Dawson, Chelsea, and Jessica from my YouTube, along with some others who have asked about my normal daily routine. So let's get started. Okay, I clearly don't have any makeup on, so I look crazy right now. I also got a spray tan yesterday, so I'm splotchy, which can be fixed easily. Um, and I got my lashes done too, so that helps a little bit uh, with not having any makeup on. So. Um, okay, so first I put on, I already have this on, it's the MAC Prep and Prime uh, Skin Base. It's just a, it's kind of for all skin types, oily, dry, it's just a good general one. A lot of times I also use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Spray, Fix Plus Spray, I think is what it's called. So put this on initially, and you put it on just like a moisturizer, so just a squirt or two in your hand, rub together, and then apply like you would a moisturizer. And you definitely want to always use a primer prior to your foundation because it just helps it stay longer and better throughout the day. Okay, so once that dries a little bit, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender. I love the black because they tend to get kind of messy and it just doesn't show as much crap on it. Um, and then if you guys have paid attention to any of my videos, you would know that I'm true to Double, uh, double Wear by Estee Lauder. Love this. Love, love, love. It's just full coverage, and I clearly have some imperfections on my face, so it just helps hide all those throughout the day. And my color that I use is Ivory Beige. I'm going to take a little bit of this, and it's buildable, so you can start with a little bit, and then if you feel like you need more, which I usually do, um, just go ahead and pour some more. I do like a dime size amount. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna take the chunky end of it, of the little egg, and I'm just gonna dip it into my foundation. And I'm just gonna start to apply on my face. So wherever you choose to start is fine. I always start with this cheek for some reason. And you wanna blend it into your ear, down your neck. You definitely do not want a line. So kind of blend around. If you have dark circles, which I kind of do, it's good to put some of the foundation under your eye as well because once you put a concealer on top, you've already got a little bit of a base to build on, so it helps hide those dark circles. Okay. And you just go around your face and put this stuff on. You're just kind of like stippling it into your skin, into your pores. And then definitely into your neck. And also, if you do have any imperfections that are like dark spots or pimples or anything, I use a concealer too. I luckily don't have any huge pimples today, but usually use this concealer um, by MAC. And it's Studio Finish Concealer, and it's just kind of like in a little paint pot. Um, and I just take my finger and I'll just put it over a pimple before I do my foundation. So I kind of smear that in a little bit and then I'll do my foundation on top of that. It's, it's a great one, great. A great concealer. Okay, so once that is done, I feel like a new one. Oh, genius, the game. Okay. All right, this is super duper affordable. This sucker is like $4.99, five bucks, super cheap. Um, it is called LA Girl Pro Conceal, and there's a bunch of different concealers that I love for your under eye, but a lot of them either crackle or they just make you look like super aged under your eyes. Um, or some of them just aren't enough coverage and then I'll find myself in pictures being like, oh dang, I look like I didn't have any makeup on under there. So I really love this one. It's just LA Girl Pro Conceal, um, high definition concealer, and this color is natural. You wanna get a couple shades lighter than your foundation for your under eye area. And the cool thing about this is too, it has a little brush on the, on the end of it. So you just squeeze the product up and the brush is already there for you. So super easy out of this one too. Okay, so it's coming up out of there. 
and I'm just going to, in an upside down V, I mean upside down triangle, just do this under my eye. And you get pretty close to your lash line, kind of as close as you can. It doesn't have to be neat because you're going to smear it in anyways. But just cover all the little areas. And you can do your T-zone as well. A lot of people will do it up here, down the nose and here. I don't really contour my nose much. I probably should, but I don't have time for all that on a daily basis. Okay, so I'm gonna take more of like the tip part of my little egg here. Um, so the opposite end of the foundation end. I'm gonna take the top of it and I'm just going to pat this into my skin. And as you notice, it's a little lighter than my foundation, which is the point. It's, it's a good thing. And just blend. And if you need to, if you need to take the foundation end of your blender and kind of blend the color in, definitely do that because you don't want it to be too light. But take that, blend that color in, and that just drastically helps with dark circles and any under eye imperfections. Once again, take that bottom half of your blender and just blend that color because you don't want to keep it too bright. Okay, just make sure all that's even. Okay, and then after that, I use Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. Um, I really like the brand RCMA as well, but it's really white. So I used to use it a lot and um, it kind of just made me appear a little bit whiter than I, I liked. So I really like this Laura Mercier Translucent. It's got a little bit of color to it, so it's just it just looks a little bit better on your skin. You can either take a brush, any sort of brush, and kind of apply it under your eyes, but since you already own the Beauty Blender. It's nice to have a bunch of uses for this. So what I do a lot is just take another part of the top. So you can see where I, I applied the um, concealer under my eyes. So I'll just flip it around and the part that doesn't have product on it, I will just dip in here and pat it off. And then just apply it right where I applied the concealer under my eye. Same thing with the other side. And then I also apply this in my T-zone because I'm super oily and this stuff really helps set the products that are on your face, but it also helps with any oil that you may produce throughout the day. And um, actually my, uh, and I do it right in my T-zone, but my the makeup artist that I had for our wedding, we got married in Mexico and it was like 80 degrees outside and hot and humid and crazy. And he put this stuff on me and I really didn't sweat throughout the whole night, so it was great. I really, really love this. And so now after I've let that sit for a little while, I am going to swipe that off with a brush, any brush, but the brush I really like to use for my um, powder. I After you do your translucent powder, I always set all of my foundation and everything with a, uh, with MAC Studio Fix powder, and my color is C4. And then I love, love, love this brush. And these MAC brushes are a little bit expensive, but they, to me, are so worth it. So if you are gonna put your money towards certain products within all of this, I think the brushes are a big part of that and also the, the foundation too. So I'm gonna take this brush, it's a MAC 150 brush, and I'm just gonna put it in my MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm just gonna apply this all around, right under my eyes. That's what happens when you wash them. Sometimes they shed. Down into your neck. And you're just setting all of this, all the product that you put on your face thus far. And kind of blend these little, this area right here. Okay, so once that is done, so your face is pretty much done at this point as far as like foundation, concealing under your eyes, and setting everything goes. Now I'm going to move on to bronzing, which is my favorite part. Obviously, I really like to be tan. 
So I love this Bare Minerals brush. Um, it's called Flawless Face. I think I've had this for a few years, so I don't really know if they still have it. If they do, it's a great one. Um, and then this bronzer, it's actually, it's called Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, but it's, I use it as a bronzer because I just really love it. Um, and it's in Dark Deepest. And I just apply this onto my brush. And I will start here. And I kind of do around the hairline. Sorry, y'all, my skin's so splotchy because I'm spray tan, but um, apply it around the hairline to kind of give you that sun-kissed glow around the temples. And then as far as like the angle goes for bronzing on your cheek, I always like to do from the top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth. So just right down your cheekbone. Um, I just pat this product in. Not all the way down, but that's kind of the angle that you're gonna go for. Here. And you do it to your likeness. Like I don't, I like to be bronze, but I don't like a huge, like hugely defined contour. Cause I just like it to look a little bit more natural. Um, but that's personal preference. So whatever you, you prefer. Okay. And sometimes I, I bring a little bit up into the under eye area just so it doesn't look too pale up there. Jawline. Sometimes I'll hit the nose a little bit and then I'll also blend it into my neck because I do not want my face and my neck to be different colors. So I kind of just really just put this stuff everywhere and then just blend it to your liking. And if you do feel like you've gotten an area a little bit more than you would prefer. I'll go back with my um, MAC Studio Fix Powder and the other brush that I did previously and I'll just do the same kind of thing and just kind of blend a little bit better if I think that it's too dark on an area, which is fine today. Okay, and then for my blush, I'm not huge on blush, but as far as pictures go um, and just usually on a general basis, I'll do a little bit of blush. I don't like for it to be too much. So I like this NARS. The color is, I do not know how to say this, Golu, G-O-U-L-U-E. But I have this MAC brush 168 and it's just a nice little angled brush. And I just take like ever so lightly hit this together because I don't like a lot. But I like a little bit of color. And just kind of apply that to the apples of your cheeks and blend into your cheekbone. Ever so lightly. And again, this the amount that you apply is just personal preference. But I'm more of a bronzer than a blusher. My favorite part of this whole process is the highlighting because I just like to look like a mermaid, I guess. I just like to be glowy. Okay, so this kit is awesome. It is the Glow Kit by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Anastasia, actually. Um, and then the color Summer. So I take this little flat brush. This is by Angel Marino. I don't think he, I don't think these are available anymore, but just any, any flat brush will work. Um, take the color Summer and just apply it. I'll apply it to this side so you can kind of see. Right on your cheekbones and up around here if you want. And it just adds a really nice glow to your face. Moving here. And again, just apply however much you prefer. I like a lot. Hopefully you can see. Okay, and then whatever is left on the brush, just the excess amount, I just take, run it down my nose, and apply a little bit above my lip. And there we are. We have a sun-kissed sun little glowy face. Hope you enjoyed.